Okay guys, so keeping up with this trend of survival knife comparisons and just knife comparisons, today we're going to be taking a look at my modified Topps Fieldcraft versus the Cold Steel SRK. Hey guys, this is Matt from the future, just reminding you that if you want to see more Alaskan gun, EDC, survival, and bushcraft content, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave a comment and a like while you're at it. And of course, unfortunately we are doing this in the truck, but the wind is absolutely whipping outside, so I'm trying to do this inside the truck so that you guys can actually hear what I have to say and I'm not battling with the wind. So let's jump right into this. What did I think of the Topps Knives Fieldcraft versus the SRK? Um, by and large, I have to say that while batoning was definitely better with the SRK, I was happily, pleasantly surprised that this little Topps uh, Fieldcraft or BOB Fieldcraft did a superb job at everything else. From feather sticking to carving, this thing is an absolute monster and it definitely lets you know that. It is such a fantastic knife to use. It is really a pleasure. Um, as this knife has actually been kind of on my back burner for some time, and I kind of forgot that I even had this knife, which is a problem once you have so many knives, you know, you kind of forget what all you have. But I dug it out of the knife chest the other day and kind of, you know, brought it back up to speed, and uh, it's just been an absolutely fantastic knife to be using. Um, really don't have any complaints. Uh, I did reprofile the blade a little bit so it might not be a quite factory edge or actually I know it's not quite a factory edge but the edge that I put on this thing definitely makes it feather stick very well and because it's a modified Scandi grind now um, that has a little bit more of a bevel it does a better job at feather sticking so it doesn't want to bite into wood as much but at the same time it still has that Scandi grind heritage so it's still very much um, able to bite super deep into wood. So it did a fantastic job when it came to uh, feather sticking and did a better job than the SRK with feather sticking and with, um, with notching. So definitely an awesome knife from that regard. Now, of course, uh, ergonomics, actually for this blade not being a rubber overmolded uh, handle, still felt very good in my hands and the Topps Fieldcraft, you know, it's a loved knife because the ergonomics are really good on it. Now I will say I'm no fan of the jimping and I've actually thought of deleting the jimping, but I haven't quite done that yet. Uh, I might do that, but I'm not a huge fan of the jimping. But overall, from the ergonomic standpoint, it's pretty good. And this handle is nice and long, so when you are using winter gloves, you know, you, there's plenty of space for your hand to still be on the handle and not trying to slip off. So, do love that. Now, of course, this is a Topps differential heat treat, so this does not strike ferro rods very well, unfortunately, unless it's here at the very tip. So, that is a ding against the Topps Fieldcraft, whereas the SRK will throw sparks like a boss and do everything just fine. And of course, the SRK's ergonomics are very squared away and very good. Really, no complaints there. So, overall, that is the Cold Steel SRK and the Topps Fieldcraft. Um, like I said, I, I would say the Fieldcraft came out uh, from a functional and ergonomic standpoint as a winner. Of course, you know, the ferro rod striking is something that you're either going to like or dislike or take it or leave it. But the little Fieldcraft for being a smaller blade, especially from the SRK by a few inches, definitely proved itself worthy. And honestly, it wasn't too bad when it came to batoning. It was a good knife and uh, definitely love or remember why I love using this blade so much. Okay, so as always guys, God bless, and I'm out.